Hey, what up legends? How's it going? Kiwin Bacon here. Uh, today for daily deck showcase, I wanted to um, help out those of you who are currently living the free-to-play life. And I found this fantastic list, uh, this Tempo Steel Rogue by Super Cowboy on Hearthpawn. Uh, he wrote this, he even wrote a guide for it, so I really hope you guys go take a look at that. It is probably going to be very helpful to you. Um, this deck is actually pretty powerful, even though it barely costs anything at a uh, minimal 1300 dust. There's no legendaries, no epics, nothing. Um, and I felt like... A lot of people could be interested in a deck like this because it's not everyone that's going to have all of the good cards once the set comes out. So that's why I'm making this video. So we'll give this a try on the ladder, try to have some fun while doing so. And of course, hopefully you guys enjoy. Now, further on, to help you guys a little bit more, I am currently having a Shadow Bundle giveaway. I'm going to give out one of those every single day this week. So you've got multiple attempts at this. All you have to do in order to be uh, participating to that giveaway and increase your card pool, your card collection, is to be subscribed to the channel. And of course, leave a comment down in the comment section below letting me know what you'd like to see me play next, of course. And I will enter you in the draw for those card packs. So good luck to you. Good luck to your friends, of course. Um, it's always a good thing to let others know about certain opportunities. Karma will come your way for sure. And now we are pulling against a... <sighs> fucking rogue. Which is going probably going to trash me because I'm just gonna get rogue cards. I wish. Never mind. I've got the hench clan burglar, so the underbelly fence can actually work. I am going to be getting cards from another class. Oh, and it seems like he's playing something somewhat similar. Um, I think that just playing a two three is better than playing nothing. So we'll go ahead with that at the moment. It's going to be an interesting match for sure. He got a patient assassin. Interesting. Okay. Togwaggle scheme. I don't know if that's going to be really good. Um, we can put that on a blink fox or, you know, something that's got a lot of card draw embedded into it. It's not that terrible. Of course, we're playing a lot of other tempo cards and whatnot. But that can help as well. Um, do I have beasts? I don't have beasts. I don't really have weapons. And I don't really have ways to get armor. So all of these are pretty fucking shitty. Wait, is the Hench Clan Hugsteed? Okay, you know what? I know it's garbage. I don't think I can use those two. I'll take the Stampeding Roar. Um, I might be able to get a Hench Clan Hoxty. I don't remember if it's actually a beast or not. I believe it is. It is. Okay. So I can summon a Hench Clan Hogsteed from my hand and give it Rush. <laughs> I don't even know I was thinking about this like it was a big deal or whatnot. It definitely was not. Okay, we have to put something down here. I guess at some point maybe I can, you know, I can get the other Hench Clan Burglar to give me another beast and I can send copies of it into my deck and then give it rush maybe i don't fucking know this is bad this is bad all around but there's literally nothing i can do about it huh wait a second blink fox is a beast and then why would i want to do that though because it's a 3-3 three, three. i can straight up just play it you know it's not that it's not that good 
Also, growl. I don't want to. Okay, this is kind of dumb. To be fair. Um, I might as well just put four copies of it into my deck. I have one mana left. Trying to play it for tempo. I think that's pretty good play. Oh my god! Why do I have this? <laughs> oh, look, he's got growl. I can sap it and play mine. That's gonna be beautiful. Ah, the fox. Okay, he's got me on that. Now we have a little bit of extra damage with the alchemists and whatnot. Um, in fact, yeah, I think I'm gonna go with that. Just go ahead, send that back. Get a burglar. 6-5, sweet. We've got the crazed chemist for 4 damage. We get the eviscerate for 4 damage. Of course, he does sap just like me. He's gonna play his growl again. I'm gonna have to play my growl again. And are you serious? Except that this time I'm just not going to care much about oh okay can i i don't think i can make lackeys i don't think i have lackeys in my okay so i have to find a way to get lackeys that could be funny all right i'm not saying it's gonna be the best possible course of events but at the moment Everything seems to be doing decently well. Is he actually... What is he... He's attacking into the Argent Squire. Okay. Well, I'm okay with... I'm fine with that. Vendetta. Well played right there, sir. That is... Quite a decent option. I am going to... First of all... Play the South Sea Deckhand. Um, I'm gonna Eviscerate Growl. I'm going to Crazed Alchemist. And just go for that face. This dude is going down. <laughs> We're playing something very, very similar, to be fair. Yo, Vendetta is such a good guard. Absolutely ridiculous. Icicle. Uh, we're kinda close, but not. The dude is actually able to use his Spectral Cutlass. For some damage. Which is pissing me off. I, I just need to fit I just need to finish the guy off. Okay, put your yeah, put ten rogue cards in your deck. It's not that interesting. Alright, we get a Violet Haze. Violet Haze isn't bad. That's extra card draw. Of course the guy's down to two. He's probably gonna heal from the cut list. My board is a little difficult to deal with at the moment unless he's got vanish or something along those lines but overall seems good nova i think i got him there we go awesome I am the better burglar. I am the free-to-play burglar. I am better than you. Okay. Playing against the priest feels good. We have a decent starting hand with a one, a couple one drops, a thug, and then we can get the weapon going for ourselves as well. So this seems pretty powerful. Now, this is a tempo deck, right? So we try to get as much value as possible, try to never waste a single mana, right? Um, and as such, I'm just gonna get the weapon. I'm not going to attack. I could attack, but I'm not going to. I've got the thug in hand. Um, 
We'll try to get him buffed. Really quick. Alright, so thug. Now attack. Get a big thug. We have another one next turn with the squire. Or if he plays something, we've got the agent and the other squire. There's always that. But at the same time, I mean, yeah, he, he didn't play anything. I fucked up on that one. If I miss one damage at the end of the game, I'm sorry. Okay, now he seems to be playing... Oh. Okay, then. Um... Wait a second. He's got a giant. Do I care? The question is, do I care? The answer is, I don't. I actually don't care. Because I can just keep going face. The guy's down to 10 HP. I've got some huge dudes on the board. This doesn't seem like too much of an issue to me. Alright. Mass Hysteria. Eh. Okay, could have been a little better, to be fair. Um, so we've got the fence. So we'll play the fence. We'll play the SI7. No, just try to do as much damage as possible. And then next turn we've got our crazed alchemist ready to go. And I think we'll get lethal from her. Or at least that's the goal. Tunnel Blaster. That deals 3 damage to everything. It deals 3 damage. Oh shit, everything dies. Feels really bad. Actually feels really, really bad. Damn. Okay. Okay. That was... Well played. I didn't think anyone would play that, but I mean, I guess it does have some utility in, in certain situations. Oh, he is super dead. Hello, good sir. Here's six damage from the hog. There we go. Alright boys, we're playing a Warlock. It's probably gonna be Zulok. I'm gonna keep that Fen of Knives. I usually want to get an Argent Squire and everything, and I think I'm gonna drop the Burglar for that. Never mind. Um, dude, that would have been... Okay, well. Sounds good. I'm just assuming he's gonna play Zulok. That's just easier um, to to settle with when the new set comes in. You don't really have to worry about much. Um, I'm gonna get the dagger going. Just so I can get the thug on the board next turn. Then eventually there's the, the Blink Fox under Belly Fence combo. If you can call that a combo. Alright. So he heals for four. So, I mean, it's better that he heals... Well, no, actually, he did heal for the full amount because he was at 20. So shit, okay, that is pretty good. And now we know what he's playing. Which is not good for us. He's not playing Zoo. I wonder. Youch. Now at least there's no more spells then. So that's that.
I wonder if he's going to let me just keep the thug on the board. Because that is super powerful. I wish. I really wish. Please, sir. Let me... Let me do the thing. There's also the, the burglar play. You know, where I just play burglar right now. He's letting me do something. So I'll play the... Whoops. I'll play the underbelly fence. Because we don't want to waste any mana. Want to be as efficient as possible. He, he really didn't do anything last turn. Ooh. Sounds good. I can... Dude, I've got a great turn next turn still. Okay, I'm fine with that. I'm actually completely fine with that. So we'll get rid of this little guy. I've got some big pigs on board. I'm assuming eventually he's going to be able to get rid of them. At the moment, they're doing all of the work for me. Um, and then the, my card draw is in, well, card generation is in my hand, so we can get extra value from that as well. Save guard. So here I'll just do this. And absolutely blast the guy. And on to one. That silence was huge. <laughs> Alright. Well. Seems like the deck is currently working. Now oh, it's pretty hard against Warrior, and there's a lot of Warriors. I understand that. Don't worry about it, the meta is going to stabilize. Uh, you should be fine. And so that is pretty much it for this free-to-play Burglar Rogue. I really, really appreciate free-to-play decks, so if you've got more you'd like to see me play, please go on ahead and send them my way. Um, that's it for me today. Thank you everyone for watching. Make sure to sub if you have not already, if you want to participate in our uh, Shadow Bundle giveaway. And of course, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.